All right. Um, today's video is going to be on how to oil uh, your electric motor. Um, as far as what kind of oil to use and what to look for on where the oil goes. So as you can see, I have uh, four different motors here, and um, all of them are the uh, <coughs> they got the oil ports on them but there's different kinds. Um, so I'm going to show you what uh, what to uh, look for when it comes to um, adding oil to your electric motor. And we're going to start with this motor here and then we're going to work all the way across down to the last one. So this one right here <coughs> you can see uh, the oiler is right here. Uh, it's got a little get it with my finger there, a little uh, flip-up type lid on there, a little cap, okay? Um, there's usually going to be one on the front, and then the last, one, or the other one is right back there. And same thing, you just flip it up, and then it's got the little cap on it. Um, this one here, same thing. Uh, the oiler for this one is right uh, right there on the front and then on the back the oiler is right there um, and then next we have this uh, Delco and the oiler on this one for the front is right there and then the oiler thing on the back is uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's right, it's right there. Now, <clears throat> this one right here, when it comes to oiling this one, uh, it's not a flip-up tight little cap thing. Um, as you can see, right here, there's a little uh, flat blade, um, like a little screw type thing. Um, there's one on the front, and then the other one is right back there right right there is where that one's at so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, this one here has got a noisy bearing uh, front and back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some oil to this one and then uh, we're gonna see if we can get that noise um, to go away all these other motors here are okay and the oil that I like to use is this stuff right here made by 3-in-1. Uh, it's long-lasting motor oil. Um, it's engineered for one-quarter horsepower motors or larger. Um, you don't really want to be using uh, what's that stuff? 3-in-1 uh, household oil uh, because that stuff doesn't have um, the ingredients that this stuff here has to uh, protect the bearings, and it, it's just got different additives in it that 3-in-1 household oil doesn't. So, um, but uh, if uh, if that's all you got, um, it might work for now, but I would use the uh, motor oil, the electric motor oil. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get all this other stuff out of the way here, and then uh, we're going to focus on this motor right here. And uh, we're going to see if we can get rid of that uh, bearing noise. So let me get everything set up and I'll be right back. All right, all right. Um, just one little quick note that I forgot to mention in the first video. Uh, some motors uh, don't have an oiler plug on them. Uh, as you can see, this motor here, um, it doesn't have, you look on the front here, and there's no oiler plug. And the same thing with this, uh, with this old. Uh, Westinghouse motor here. Um, there's no oiler plug on there at all, um, on the front or on the back. So uh, not all motors um, have an oiler plug. Uh, most of them do. A lot of the newer ones might have a yellow plug on it, but uh, some some motors are uh, pre-oiled from the factory and they don't need any further oiling. And then other ones, like in the previous video, have those uh, little plugs on them with the little uh, flapper lid. So, all right. So I got uh, 
this motor here all uh, set up. Um, I've loosened the Allen screw uh, for the pulley. Um, I don't know if you can hear this, but it's got like a little bit of a, I guess you would call it like a dry, not like a, not like a dry grinding sound, but just kind of like the bearings haven't been, kind of like the the bearings haven't been oiled in a in a while. So, um, but anyway, all right. So I got the uh, the uh, Allen screw loosened up. So we'll just go ahead and pull the uh, pulley off. There's the set screw or the uh, little keyway for it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the camera angled properly here. Right, here we go. I'm going to get this up on some and a little bit closer there. There you go. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to take this little screw out. Uh, before you take this screw out, you'd want to take uh, if you have a motor like this that has that uh, that little plug, um, you might want to take uh, like a little brush, a little wire brush or something, clean some of the crap around from uh, from around the screw, uh, like I did before I took this off, so that you don't get any junk inside, and then possibly run the risk of eating your uh, your bearings, chewing them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this oil here and I'm going to pop the top off of it if I can get it. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is uh, um, when you put oil in, uh, in any of these motors, uh, depending on how you use it, how often you use it, um, requires... Uh, like like these I don't I don't use these all the time I only run these maybe three or four times a year so maybe two to four drops will be good for this uh, if you have one that's on like a continuously running fan or something then uh, you know maybe five to ten drops um, there's instructions on the back of the uh, um, the bottle here that uh, say how many drops to put in it. So I'm going to tilt this motor up just a little bit more here and then hopefully I can get so there's one two three and four okay I'll set that back down so I got about four uh, drops of oil in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw, this little set screw here, and I'm going to put that back in there. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and tighten that back up. Okay. There we go. It doesn't have to be super tight, just, you know, just snug it up. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, for the back. And then um, I'll be right back. Alright, um, what I ended up doing is uh, after I oiled the front and back bearings uh, on video, um, I spun the shaft over by hand, or spun the motor over by hand a couple times and uh, it still sounded a little bit rough so what I did is I plugged it in I ran it for about a minute and then uh, I ended up adding an additional three drops of oil to the front bearing and then uh, three more drops uh, to the re uh, rear bearing so uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, it's been sitting for a little while um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug it in and uh, we're gonna see what it sounds like uh, right off the bat, when I oiled it the first time, I noticed it uh, uh, it turns over a little easier. 
it didn't sound as rough um, so it did help some it did help some but uh, anyway here we go we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and uh, we're gonna see what we got here so here we go Alright, um, anyway, while the uh, motor was running, I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but it's still making a little bit of a squeak noise. Um, it's still got a little bit of a grinding noise, especially after I unplugged it. Um, uh, this motor was on a, some kind of a, uh, exhaust fan. Um, if you look at the inside, from what I can see here is it's got like a little bit of, uh, like some dust stuff in it. Uh, so my guess is probably what happened is a little bit of dust got in to where the bearings are and, uh, you know, might have might have kind of scratched them up a little bit and all that other stuff. But uh, at least there's some oil in there now. Um, I don't know when the last time this thing was oiled. Um, like I said, I don't really run it a whole lot. Uh, I just usually use these motors for making all my videos. Um, so other than that... Uh, I'm going to plug it in one more time, and uh, just just for kicks, we'll plug it in one more time. Oh, here we go. Yeah, a lot of that noise sounds like it's coming from the uh, uh, bearing in the uh, bearing in the rear. So, anyway, um, we'll put this uh, put this back on here for right now. So, but yeah, that's um, that's how you oil up. Uh, electric motor there's really nothing to it uh, it's easy it's an easy thing to do um, one thing I did want to note though is uh, if you do have a motor that's uh, on like it's got kind of like a you know it's got a belt going through here and it's mounted down on something um, something like like this you know something like uh, like this motor here it was on an exhaust fan um, to oil the front and the back uh, the back you might be able to get to, uh, but the front, uh, depending on how it's mounted, uh, you may have to remove the belt and then the pulley itself. Um, you can always take like that bottle that I had and put like a clear tube on it so that it will, um, you know, like a like a little piece of like oxygen tube or something, something clear that you can see the oil going in, so you know you're actually getting oil into the bearing instead of. Uh, using like a piece of black rubber hose and just guessing, you know, assuming that you're getting oil into the bearing. So, um, anyway, I got my pulley back on. I uh, got the little set screw tightened down. Um, anyway, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you oil an electric motor. Um, you know, just, uh, what, you know, you just what to look for with the, uh, uh, little flapper lid or the little set screws like I showed you earlier. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's easy. So, um, if you like the video, um, don't forget to uh, subscribe, comment, 
uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, I see that I'm getting a lot of sus uh, subscribers on my channel, so um, anyway, keep those keep those coming, and uh, see you in the next video. All right.